Recently on the TSC forum, uh, there was uh, talk of travel kits and travel bags and stuff like that. And that led me to think that uh, time to revisit uh, a certain type of soap and a certain type of soap container, and that's shave sticks. Now, not everybody likes shave sticks, but hopefully we can give you a few hacks that uh, can make you enjoy shave sticks again. Because when you're traveling, depending on how big your dop kit is, uh, you'd like to take multiple soaps so you're not bored. But the problem is if you have a round puck or, or even a tube, you'd only have so much room. Shaving sticks kind of solve that problem. No, shaving sticks come in all types of different shapes and sizes, and they're made by different manufacturers. For instance, this is Latoha, and basically it comes wrapped in a, uh, basically a uh, aluminum foil. Uh, this is Paul Mollive. Now this one's already been taken off, but, and basically they just, you know, just rub them on your face. Arco's got one. Sterling has them. So there are some high-end soap makers that do have them. Uh, one of the newest players on the market is Cremo. And you can get this at Walmart and I think Walgreens. And this looks familiar. It looks just like a uh, antiperspirant stick. And basically you just screw it from the bottom and up comes the soap. Uh, so you can do that and buy. Or if you have some soaps that you really, really like, make them yourself. There's two different types of ways you can do that. You can buy a specific uh shave stick holder which is like this now many of the manufacturers so manufacturers that use shave sticks use this type basically you just screw it from the bottom and in this case this is spike now this was in a regular uh five and a half or four and a half inch round tub and what i did is i grated it pressed it in and now i have a shave stick now the beauty of shave sticks is you can take three soaps with you on vacation and not worry about it but let's say that you want to make your own shave stick, but you don't want to buy one of these things. And they're, they're cheap. They're a couple bucks each. But let's say you don't want to do that. You probably have something laying around the house that you've used for years that you can purpose for it. And that is your deodorant stick. Just when you're done with the deodorant stick, put this in the dishwasher, disassemble it, and then grate your soap and just smash it in to the lowest level, and boom, you have a shave stick. Now, that thinness can stick in almost any uh, dot bag, and you can take multiple soaps, and you can use whatever high-end soap you'd like to do that. Now, one word of caution. Some of you may be thinking, well, hey, I've got an idea. I'll just stick the soap in the microwave and melt it and pour it right in. Oh, no, no, no. Do not do that. Uh, we've had to destruct the, uh, or uh, actually decommission and rebuild the Barber Lab because of that. So don't ask me how I know, but do not try to microwave your soaps. Now that includes any vegan soaps, any non-tallow soaps, and especially tallow soaps. You will destroy microwaves, you will destroy kitchens, and remember that smell that you got when somebody in your office burnt the popcorn and it never goes away? That's exactly what will happen. However, if it's a melt and pour soap like Colonel Conk or some of the uh, Vanderhagen type soaps, you can melt and pour in. But just grate it on a very fine grate and uh, you'll go for there. So that's shave sticks. So try them. They're not bad. Uh, and especially some of the ones you can get in the store, these are like six, seven bucks and they last forever. Today, however, we're going to be using one of our homemade ones. And that's with Spike. Now, the way you do shave sticks, also for those of you that are soap uh, savers, meaning you don't like to watch all your soap go down the drain, uh, especially when loading from a puck or when having extra in the bowl. I mean, you're always going to have some extra in the brush. But uh, those of you that want to save soap, this is also probably the most economical way to shave. And we'll show you in a few minutes. Uh, also, it's quick and it's fast. This brush is a synthetic brush. I find that it, it works the best. But any of them work. And you don't have to pre-soak them. So we're going to be doing a spike shave today, which includes, uh, like I said, the Corleone uh, Sorrentino brush, as well as spike aftershave and EDT. So basically with a shave stick, all you have to do is take the top off, obviously, make sure you have enough surface area and dip it or run it under hot water or cold water for a few minutes. Then basically wet your face. And this is more of a face lathering type thing, but what you're going to do is you're just going to create a layer on your face of soap. 
just by rubbing it on like a roll-on more like a deodorant stick and as thick as you want it depending on how much soap you're looking to get and if it dries out a little bit while you're putting it on that's okay because you can just dip it in the water again and come back to it then when you're done you dry off the top boom bang boom you're done so then with the brush just wet the brush and with a synthetic all you have to do is wet it you don't have to soak it but if you're going to use a badger just soak it for a little while and then go to town now it'll take a little bit longer to build because you've got raw soap on your face but it's really time from a time consuming standpoint very quick And you'll get that pasty consistency first. Then you can just add water. As needed to get it to the consistency that you want. And as I said, the cool thing is you can use any soap you like. So if you like the ultra high-end soaps, but you don't want to take that uh, $50 uh, ceramic coffer with you, in the case of Panacrema, well, at least the old Panacrema, or Mitzel's Wool Fat, then just grate it down in a fine grate, press it into your shave stick, and you're good to go. And as you can see, it provides just the same amount of nice, rich, creamy lather that if you face lather or bowl lather but somewhat quicker and easier and today for the razor we're going to be using a blackland vector with a brand new feather pro guard blade I hope everybody's doing okay. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of you in the Gulf Coast area, both Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and then even up north into Tennessee, Kentucky, because uh, it looks like that storm's going to head north. And even our, our buddies in Ohio may get a little bit of rain out of this thing. So we hope your families are safe. Um, it was a bad one. I have uh, very good friends that I went to high school with that live in Covington, Louisiana, which is right near Slidell, and they got hammered. Uh, they're still doing okay, but they've been on generator power for a long time now. And I've got some other friends that bailed out of Dodge and went up to Arkansas for a little while. So that's good. So hopefully, Everybody is safe, and if you're in the path, uh, please take whatever precautions you need to. We have a tropical, it'll probably be a tropical depression by the time it gets to us, but Hurricane Nora um, is going to come right up the Baja, California, um, which is odd. It doesn't do that. Hurricanes don't do that very often. We've had, I think, Two or three, one in 83, where it was actually a category one, when it, uh, no, a category two, when it actually hit Tucson. But then it died pretty quickly. This one, the center of circulation is uh, over land right now, I think, but it's supposedly going to go back out over the Baja again and strengthen and then weaken by the time it gets to us sometime in the next couple of days. But the way 2021 has been, uh, who of us is, you know, who's surprised? I don't know about anybody else, but I find that the first shave with the Feather Pro Guard, I don't want to say it's rough, but it's, it's not as nice as the subsequent shaves. 
I can get probably six to seven shaves out of a blade before it starts feeling like it needs some help. Sometimes more, just depends. For those that have not tried Spike, it is a European soap, it's all natural. And it gets its name from the spike plant. It's really good for your face. Um, not no not a lot of chemicals. And they do have not only the they have a complete men's care line. So like I said, if you have not tried shave sticks, I would definitely give it a shot because some of them like palm olive, which have been around forever, uh, La Toja, even uh, Arco, you can get dirt, dirt cheap and they last forever. These shave sticks I have here, I've had for a long time. And then of course there's the, the Cremo line, which they've got a lot more now than they used to. And uh, Cremo also has uh, EDTs, EDCs. And they're really kind of stepping up their game. Uh, and it's not bad. But like I said, if you like the high-end soaps, just make, 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 a shave, make a shave stick yourself. Uh, don't forget this week, um, the family game night, um, which is usually D and D, uh, is taking a break. So we're just gonna have our regular games and talks, and everybody's gonna try to throw me out of the airlock and Among Us, like always, namely uh, everyone, plus some other games and stuff like that. So join us and don't forget you know check all us out all the content and everything is there's more content each and every day and it's not just shaving it's scotch cigars fire you name it there is a a subject matter that i'm sure that you'll like and that's www.theshavingcadre.com we'll put a little alum just to see how we did with that new blade eh, a little rough but that's usually to be expected at least for me with the new uh, with the new blade and some people have asked why I use alum uh, I, I I'm hit and miss sometimes I use it or I had used it and I didn't use it but it's a nice skin tightener it's an all-natural salt uh, and it does leave the face feeling well plus it is an antiseptic and then I have been using more and more of the witch hazel uh, Thayer's I feel is the best haven't tried the lemon yet because I'm working through the cucumber which is very very nice and I'll probably get the lavender as well. We'll let that dry down a bit. So those of you that are wondering how much soap you have left over after you use a shave stick, that's it. Not very much. So like I said, if you are a soap saver, a shave stick is probably uh, the way for you to go. And like I said, you don't have to soak a brush unless of course it's badger. You wet it, put it on your face, uh, you're good to go. Let that dry down. And what's nice about them is they pack real easy, go away real easy, and so forth. Their sip of cafe. Okay, and for the aftershave, we'll be using Spike, of course. This is a great, 
I don't want to call it lemon, but it sure is citrusy. But just very fresh, bright, green, and really, really good for the skin. And today we'll probably use the Boratalco talc on the face. Kind of finishes and seals the shave. And for those of you that have commented about, oh, aren't you worried about the cancer side of it? Well, barbers have been using talc to finish the face and the shaves and the haircuts for hundreds, if not thousands of years. I think we're okay. And I think largely that whole asbestos thing was kind of, uh, kind of overblown, uh, in my opinion. And then also for the EDT, we're going to be using Spike for Men. This is really neat. It's kind of hard to find. But uh, it's a little bit different than the aftershave, but it's got a really neat, spicy, citrusy uh, flavor to it. And it's really, really kind of neat. Okay, folks, that's it. So remember, try shave sticks. I think you'll like them or make your own. This has been Barbara Dave at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Hope you guys have a great week. Have a good one.